Hi traders, welcome back to Zen in the Art of Trading. In today's video, I'm going to be covering one of the most basic and fundamental concepts in trading, which is, of course, candlestick patterns. If you are already intimately familiar with this information, then you might want to skip this video. But if you're new to trading or you're unsure about certain concepts regarding candlesticks, then this video will help clarify any confusion you have. So right here on this screen, I've drawn an example of a bullish candle and a bearish candle. Now bullish means up, bearish means down. A bullish candle means that it closed higher than it opened and a bearish candle means it closed lower than it opened. Each one of these candles or bars represent a session of trading based on the time frame you're on. So say here, for example, I'm, I'm set to the daily chart. Each one of these candles represents a full day's trading session. Now let's start with the bullish candle. For a bullish candle, the low of the candle of this body, this is called a body, I'll go over these wicks in a moment. That's what these lines on top and, and the bottom are called. But a candle body for a bullish candle opens at the low. So the bottom of the body is where price began at the start of this trading session. So in this example, when this trading day began, price was right here at 0 0.976 roughly. You can see over on the right axis here. Then throughout this trading day, price moved as low as 0 0.96712. So price opened at the start of the day here, sellers pushed the market down, and then the market was pushed higher and went as high as 1.02859. So at the beginning of the trading day, price was here, it moved down to here, and then it moved all the way up to here, and then at the end of the trading session, at the end of that 24 hour period, price closed here at 1.01902. So what this is giving us is a visual representation of price movement throughout the trading day. Now, one thing it doesn't tell us is how quickly these moves happened, but it tells us the extremes of price, where price began and where it ended. Over time, this information tells us a story. It tells us what price has been doing and how it's been behaving, who has had control of price. And once you get good at reading this story, it can help you to determine what might happen next based on historical price action patterns, meaning what these candlesticks have done in the past can give you clues to what might happen next. Now, technical analysis is not a sure shot way of determining price movements. Anyone who tells you that is a liar. However, there's a lot of hardcore fundamental analysts out there who claim that technical analysis is voodoo and that it has no bearing on price whatsoever. And they're wrong as well. What moves a market is mostly the fundamentals. That is true. But many big traders, many market movers use visual representations of price in order to inform their decisions in the markets. And what that basically means in layman's terms is that these candlestick patterns and stories can become self-fulfilling prophecies. So when a trader sees a certain candlestick pattern, it may cause him or her to make a certain trading decision that they may not have otherwise made had a certain pattern not formed in the markets. I'll go over some practical examples of this in a moment, but first let's move on to the bearish candle example. The bearish candle example is identical to the bullish except that instead of opening down here and closing up here, we open here at 1.01902 and then price moved higher, or it may have moved lower. These wicks can occur in any order throughout this trading day session. But during this trading day, price was pushed up by buyers all the way up here to 1.02819. This was the high of the day, the high price, the high tide mark, if you will. Then after making this high, price was pushed down by sellers all the way down to here, down to 0 0.96712. So we opened here, we went up to here, and then we moved all the way down to here. And then by the end of the day, in the final moments of the trading day, price was sitting right here at 0 0.97661. So you can see that these two candles are 
completely identical except for the open and the close are reversed. In the bullish case, price opened lower and moved higher and therefore the candle is green. In the bearish case, price opened higher and closed lower, which made the candle red. So now that I've gone over the theory and anatomy of candlesticks, let's go to live charts and apply this information in real time. I'll show you some of the most common candlestick patterns as well as some price action patterns such as double tops and I'll explain what they mean. So here we are on the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. Now this information applies to any market in existence, be it crypto, forex, stocks, commodities, bonds, anything. I've got market replay on here and I'm going to just click through these candles and explain each candle and what it means in terms of price action as a story. So right here we have a bearish trend. As you can see, the market is making lower lows and lower highs. If you're not sure how to read trend, I'll leave a link in the description and put a card here somewhere for my previous video lesson regarding trend analysis. These two lessons go hand in hand. By combining your understanding of trend with your understanding of candlestick patterns, you can create some very effective trading strategies. So let's move forward a few bars. So you can see here, price opened at this close of the previous candle and moved up and then it was pushed down by sellers. So this bearish trend is continuing. The, the momentum is still to the downside here. And then we get this interesting looking candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern is referred to as a hammer candle. That's because it has a handle here and a small body on top representing the metal part of the hammer and the handle. Most candlestick patterns and price action patterns have really fun names like that. For example, the bearish equivalent of a hammer candle is called a shooting star candle. And that is represented by a long wick to the upside and a small candle body. In the case of this hammer candle, so we're on the daily chart here. And so what this daily candle is representing, what this is telling us in a story sense is that during this day, Sellers tried to push this market lower, but they failed to keep it lower. And by the end of the day, buyers had pushed this market up. And not only did sellers fail to push this market lower, but the candle closed higher than it started the day. So this is what we would call a reversal pattern. This pattern is telling us that the control of the market has shifted from sellers to buyers, at least during this trading day. It doesn't necessarily mean that the next day is going to be a bullish day because we don't know the future. We can't tell the future. But what it is telling us is that the momentum of this move has paused here. It has stalled. And now this is a great opportunity to explain the fractal nature of price action. So you can see that this daily chart pattern, if we drop down to a four hour chart, we'll see a, this pattern reflected with the candlestick patterns on this time frame. And so you can see that that hammer candle, though this is the wick, this uh, price opened somewhere around here. It tried to move lower, failed. We got, see, another hammer candle on this four hour chart. And then this large bullish candle, which retraced most of this move, giving us that higher time frame reversal pattern. If we drop down to a one hour chart, we'll get even more information. So you can see that this candle was quite large in the context of recent price action adding further confidence that this is indeed a reversal pattern. You go down to a 15 minute chart, you get even more information. And so this pattern here is reflected on the daily chart as a large hammer candle and price opened around here, tried to go into new lows, and then the bulls regained control of this market quite significantly. You can see that we even took out uh, this previous resistance zone in here. This adds even further confidence that this daily chart hammer candle is in fact a reversal situation. And once these higher time frame patterns are formed, you can then drop down to lower time frames to trade them. And so that you can see that price action is reflected across multiple time frames and each time frame shows a slightly different perspective on the story, which can be used to make trading decisions and enhance your edge over the markets. Now, this is a bit advanced, so I'm not going to go into detail about this, but if this was a structure level down here that had been tested multiple times in the past as support, then that would add confluence to this pattern being meaningful and potentially tradable. So the way you would trade this particular pattern is that you would go long at the close of this candle with a stop loss, say one ATR below this low. 
for simplicity, let's just say that that's around here. And then your targets would be whatever you want to make them. Given that this would be a counter trend trade, I would be conservative with my targets. And let's say that we just shoot for these highs up here. So that would give us about a, a one to one risk reward. So let's cycle this market forward and see what happens next. So you can see that now after this candle occurred, the market has hovered around in the same price range. The candle opened here, it tried to move higher and then sellers pushed it lower but they failed to push it beyond the candle bodies of this reversal pattern, which is very interesting. The candle closed above the open of the previous day. Price did test into the range here with this wick, but it failed to hold down there and buyers were able to push the market up yet again. So that's a bullish sign given the context of what's happening here. So move forward again. You can see here that price opened at the close of this candle. It tried to move higher yet again and was pushed down lower. But again, price closed within the range of the previous day. You can see the wick here, this low, price closed extremely close to this low, which means that there, there's still not a lot of selling momentum in this market. Given the context of what's happening here, we failed to make a new low. We're within the range of this reversal bar still, and we're holding above the lows of this candle. What this story is telling us is that sellers do not have control of this market yet and we're kind of in a neutral territory right now and we're, we're, we're going sideways. So let's move forward one more candle. Again, another very interesting situation here. You can see that the, the price is contracting here. The ranges of the candle bodies are getting smaller and smaller compared to here where momentum was picking up. After this reversal hammer candle, the candle bodies are getting smaller and smaller which means that price is coiling. Buyers and sellers are fighting for control of this market down here, and neither one is winning. Now, if any of the next few candles closes below this low, then that will mean that sellers have regained control of this market, and we may see momentum pick up again to the downside. We'll see candle bodies get larger and expand, and the wicks get smaller as the momentum increases in this down move. Conversely, if we get a break and close above any of these three candles here, then that could signal that buyers are gaining control of this market and they're going to push the market higher. So if we were involved in this trade that I drew out earlier, uh, this sign here, it would be nothing to worry about. This, all this means here is that the market is going sideways, momentum is stalled out, and we should be patient and wait to see what happens next. So let's move on to the next candle. And here we go, a very large bullish candle. Price opened this next day, at the close of the previous candle and see how there's no wick to the downside. This means that the momentum was strongly to the upside and sellers couldn't even push this market into the previous day's range. We opened at the close of the previous day and just shot straight up. See the small wick on top relative to the large candle body means that sellers are very weak right now. They haven't got much power to push this market lower. So that's a good sign for this hammer candle setup this reversal, potential reversal setup. Let's continue on. Now this candle here is red, which means that it closed lower than it opened, but look at the size of this rejection wick relative to the candle body. So that's a good sign, that's a bullish sign for this setup. Let's continue. And there we have a very large bullish engulfing candle with a small wick to the downside and a small wick to the top. You can see very clearly here that buyers have regained control of this market, at least for the time being. In the context of recent price action, this candle is significantly larger than any of the others. If we compare this, the size of this candle body to all of the candle bodies that have been printed in the recent past, it is the largest one uh, since all the way back here. So that's a very bullish sign for this market. And so if you were to be involved in this hammer reversal setup, uh, this would be a great sign to hold onto your position and wait to see if it'll hit your profit target. So let's continue. And there we have our next candle. It's closed bullish, but you can see momentum is fading on this candle. It's nowhere near as large as this previous candle. And we're coming up into an area where price struggled previously, also referred to as resistance. Now, if you've watched my previous video lesson on how to read trend, you'll know that these highs in here are very important because in the context of this trending market, this is the last line of defense for this bearish trend. So we're involved in a counter trend setup here on this hammer candle, 
expecting the market to retrace. And so far, that's played out perfectly. When we get up into this shooting star type candlestick pattern, it'll be very important to keep an eye on price and see how it behaves when it gets up here. If we see another candlestick pattern like this one up in this zone, then that could be a sign that sellers are taking back control of this market. So let's continue forward. There we have it. We've pushed up high. We've hit our profit target on this trade, making this a winning setup. You can see the power of some of these reversal candlestick patterns. Here we had a shooting star candle push this market lower. Then we had a hammer candle push this market higher. This candle here has a, wick, a large wick to the downside, meaning the buyers are still in control of this market. There's no sign here that this, this move is running out of steam. So we have no reason to believe that the market's about to suddenly reverse, at least not yet. Until we get a red candle that tells us a bearish story, then this market is still bullish. So let's continue. And there we have it. Look at the size of this rejection. So this tells a very interesting story indeed. What it tells us is that price came up into this high, into this previous resistance zone. It opened at the close of this previous day. Buyers tried to push this market through these previous highs into a trend reversal type situation, and they failed miserably. Not only did it not close up in this range, it was clearly rejected from this zone of resistance. So you can see that it failed to close above the bodies of this zone and so if i change the color of these this zone to make a little more sense red for resistance and i put this line at the bodies of this previous high you can see that price action failed to hold in this zone it failed to get above this zone and close above this zone and was immediately rejected we got a large shooting star candle which is of course a reversal setup just like this hammer candle this is the polar opposite of this hammer candle. And so a way that you could trade this sort of candlestick pattern, this story of price action, is you would go short on the next candle with a stop loss, one ATR above these highs, and you could target the lows of this pullback. Given that this is a bearish trend and that this bearish trend is still intact until price breaks and closes above these highs, you can safely assume that price is going to be drawn down to these lows before it's going to be drawn higher and out of this range. So there's a, another reversal trading setup. And let's play this market forward and see what happens. Here you can see that price tried to run lower, but buyers pushed it up for a re-attempt at this zone. But here we have a couple more wicks in this zone, showing us that price is failing to sustain momentum up in this resistance zone, which is a good sign for our reversal trade. We continue. This is what we call a doji candle. So price opened at the previous close of this candle. It made its way all the way up here and then all the way down here. And then it came back up and closed pretty much where it started. So that's what we call a doji candle or an indecision candle. This price action story is telling us that neither buyers nor sellers really have control at this stage, which means that we don't really know where this market's headed next. But given the context of where price is, the fact that we are still below the bodies of this previous high and this wick tells us that the bulls are having a very hard time pushing this market out of this zone. So that again is a good sign for our bearish trade. Let's continue. You can see we've been in the same price range for four days now. We failed to get above this high. And this story here, all these wicks to the top are telling us that sellers keep pushing this market back. They keep beating this market back. So let's continue. And there we have our first significant bearish candle out of this zone since this reversal pattern. Now this is a lower low, lower close candle, meaning that this candle has made a lower low than this previous candle and has closed lower than the previous low. That's a very bearish sign, particularly out of this resistance zone. We've had several wicks here. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six rejection wicks out of this zone, and now a large bearish lower low, lower close candle. This price action story has now become very bearish. We initially had this bullish run up into this zone, but we were immediately slapped back multiple times out of this zone. And so let's roll the market forward, see what happens next. Another indecision candle there. Another reattempt at this zone. Yet another indecision candle and a wick and another failure to get above these highs. So if you're a conservative trader and you didn't take a trading opportunity in here, a shorting opportunity in here, 
the market is giving you a second chance here. It's telling you that this zone is still acting as resistance. How many times can these bulls push this market up into this zone and be slapped back before the market eventually rolls over? The answer is, we don't know, but it can't be an infinite amount of times. So, so let's continue forward a bit. All right, this is the moment of truth. We've now closed above all of these highs and we're, we've finally had a decent closed candle in this zone up here. So the next few candles are going to make or break this situation for the bulls. If price cannot break and close above this high here and out of this zone on the next few candles, then according to recent price action, there's a very good chance that this market is going to roll over. So let's continue onwards. And here we have yet another rejection candle, large wick to the upside, small candle body back into this range. Not a great sign for the bulls. And yet another large lower low, lower close candle out of this resistance zone. We've now had what I would call a significant double top scenario. So price has tried to break out of this zone, failed, made a pullback, then tried to make a reattempt at getting out of this zone, and yet again has failed. So this is twice now that price has made a earnest run for these highs and failed. This price action story is looking more and more bearish the longer that price struggles in this zone. So let's continue forward here. We've had now, now this is very interesting. You can see we've got higher lows coming in here. We've got a lot of rejection wicks to the upside as well as to the downside here. And so price is really trying hard to get out of this resistance zone. Bulls are squeezing this market up into these highs. And if we can get a candle that closes out of this zone, out of this zone, not in the zone, but out of it convincingly above these highs, particularly this high here then we would have a potential bullish trend reversal on our hands and price may want to move all the way up into these highs up here or these highs over here because there's not a lot of structure between where price is now and this high up here, this swing high here or this swing high all the way up here. So this is a very interesting situation to keep an eye on and could offer a fantastic long opportunity if we break out of this zone. Otherwise, if price cannot come up here and stop us out, on this short trade we took after the shooting star candle, then there's still a very good chance that price is coming down to these lows, according to this price action story that's unfolding right now. So let's continue forward. Another rejection wick here, another shooting star. This is our third shooting star candle out of this resistance zone. And even though we've got a buildup of price in here, price is really having a hard time getting out of this resistance zone. So I'm still bearish here. Yet another shooting star candle. Now this one is green instead of red, meaning that price did close higher than it opened. But look at the size of the rejection wick in context of the candle body. We've now had one, two, three, four attempts to get out of this resistance zone above this high. And all four of these attempts have failed miserably. So this story is still bearish to me. It's still telling me that this market is bearish and wants to move lower. Even though we have this large bullish candle here with a wick to the bottom, these two bearish candles here are telling us a very different story to this candle here. So let's move forward, continue on, or continue analyzing this market until we either break out of this high or we come back down to this low. Here we have another indecision candle, large wick to the upside. Uh, this is the fifth time we've tried to get out of this zone and failed. But until we get out of this high, as I keep saying, the story here is bearish. This is a bearish price action story. So let's continue. And here we have yet another lower low, lower close. So that's the third lower low, lower close we've had out of this resistance zone. The first one is here. The second one is here. The third one is here technically, but because this is a large indecision candle, I wouldn't really count that. But this one here is clearly showing us that momentum is shifting to the downside. Price opened here after this indecision day, and then it just rolled straight through the lows of the previous day's session and closed. Uh, lower than the previous day's low. This is a sign that the bulls may be finally exhausted up here. If we don't get a large bullish candle soon that breaks out of these highs, then this market is going to roll over to the downside because sellers are going to pile into this short trade and people who are long from down here are going to take profits and liquidate their long positions. And when long positions are liquidated, that adds to the selling pressure. 
So anyone who's smart, who's been long from down here and is still holding on to their position, has been watching this story unfold and does not like it. I certainly wouldn't if I was long from down here, and I would be. T I would have taken profit long before this candle here. I would have taken it either on this candle or on any one of these rejection candles. So let's play this market forward and see what happens next. If the next few candles continue to make lower lows and, and break through these lows down here, then there's a very good chance that we're coming down to these lows here. So let's play the market forward and see what happens next. Another rejection out of these lows. So these lows down here are now acting as potential support and we're ranging between these lows and these highs up here. So the range that I see here is that between this high and this low down here, price has failed to form a directional bias. But given the context of this market, the fact that we are in a downtrend, that gives me reason to interpret this price action story as bearish and leads me to believe that this market is headed towards trend continuation lower, more so than a reversal. If we'd had one of these candles close higher out of this range, out above this high, then I'd have a different interpretation of this story. But right now, I'm bearish on this market and I'm expecting the market to roll over. So let's continue onwards. All right, now we've had a candle close below this low. So anyone who bought on any of these wicks here out of this uh, support zone that was forming is now trapped in their long trade. and. Given the size of this candle body, that is telling me that momentum is picking up to the downside. We've had a couple of large red candles in a row now and very small green candles. So this story is becoming increasingly bearish. The momentum is picking up to the downside. Let's continue forward. And now this candle is interesting. When you see this sort of candle here, this could signify a stop loss hunt because what's happened here is that price has gone below this low but failed to sustain the move. You can see by this hammer candle here, this somewhat of a hammer candle, it's got a large wick to the upside, so I wouldn't technically count this as a hammer candle in my own personal trading. But this story is something to pay attention to. This is a warning sign. If you're bearish, if you're short from up here, then if we get a bullish candle now that closes above this high, then that could be a great opportunity to take profits in anticipation of this market making a reattempt at these highs. But instead, you can see momentum has indeed picked up to the downside. Price failed to hold here. And on the next day, we blew straight through the lows of the previous day. And we've closed at the low of this candle, which tells a very different story to this candle here, doesn't it? So now it looks like this resistance zone has indeed rejected price, has pushed price lower. And we're probably coming down to the bodies of this low, if not lower. And so we'll leave our profit target where it is. And we'll wait and see what happens. Bam. And there we have it. A profit target has been hit. And this market has blown straight through these lows. So we have indeed gone into trend continuation. Now this is an, a price action story. An example that I cherry picked. Because I knew that it would give me a good opportunity to explain a lot of these different candlestick patterns. Like hammer candles. Shooting stars. Resistance zones support zones, and doji candles, etc. But I cherry picked this example because this is a trading setup that I took last year and profited from. At the time that this price action story was unfolding in real time, I used this information, this exact price action storytelling that I've just shown you today. I used this information to build a case for going short. I went short and I profited from this move. And so I hope that this video today has shown you the power of reading price action candles and candlestick patterns and shown you how effective price action analysis can be once you master reading what these candles mean. The other thing I should point out is the importance of waiting for these price action patterns for confirmation of your thesis. So when price came up into this resistance zone, we didn't just go short here just because price came up into this zone. We waited for price to tell us, to give us a sign that it was struggling in this zone. And that's what we got out of this large shooting star candle here. You can see that when price came down into this support zone, price did not give us any candlestick pattern, any story whatsoever, to give us any reason to believe that this market was going to head higher out of this zone. So that is the importance of waiting for candles to close before you make trading decisions. See this large wick here? At some point during this trading day, 
this candle would have looked like a large bullish green candle. It would have looked something like this. Now, had price closed like this, it would have told a very different story to how it actually did indeed play out. As you can see, it was not a bullish day at all. It was an extremely bearish day. But any amateur traders who do not wait for candlestick closes would have been trapped buying this. And I've been guilty of that in the past myself. When I first began trading, I never waited for candles to close. And I got trapped quite often. The same thing is true of this candle here. At some point during this trading day, this would have looked like a giant green candle, a breakout trade. And a lot of people would have gone long in here before the candle closed, trying to get in on the move early, perhaps worried that this candle would have closed like this and they would have missed their entry. And so before the candle closed, they would have gone long up here and then they would have suffered through all of this and then eventually lost money. Whereas if they had just waited for this candle to close, they may have been able to profit off this trap in the way that, that we did here in this example by going short at the close of this rejection candle. So by having a firm understanding of what price action is, what these candlestick patterns represent, you can build a thesis, you can build a bias, and best of all, you can go through historical price action and you can test these patterns to see if they have a consistent edge over the markets. You can see that there are multiple shooting star-like candles that occurred here. So we've had one, two, three, four, five shooting star candles, or hammer candles in this case, that all played out profitably. Now, not all of these candlestick patterns are going to play out profitably, but the point is you can go through historical price action, test these patterns, and see just how effective they are. And if you combine these candlestick patterns, with the information I taught you in my previous video regarding trend, you can develop extremely accurate trading strategies that have a high edge over the markets. So that's all I have to say in this lesson regarding price action as a story and the anatomy of candlesticks and candlestick patterns. So before I leave you, I want to leave you guys with this. I'll leave this link in the video description, but this here is going to explain pretty much all of the candlestick patterns and what their names are. So if you're new to trading or you, you're unfamiliar with these patterns, you can see here we have a hammer candle, just like we spoke about earlier in the video. And here we have a shooting star candle that we also spoke about. There's a lot to learn, but nearly all of these candlestick patterns can be used to develop entry reasons for trading strategies. By combining these price action and candlestick patterns with market conditions that favor them, you can develop very, very powerful trading strategies. So that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck with your trading. I wish you massive success, and I hope that I can do some small part to help you achieve that. Have a great day. Thanks again, and goodbye.